Scientist discovers what no one was supposed to see. Scientists have a fling for the unknown, and sometimes they end up unearthing things they weren't even supposed to find in the first place. Some of these discoveries are just too complicated and complex, leaving the audience to make conclusions on whatever was brought forth. Brace yourself for the journey of some of the most mind-blowing discoveries revealed by scientists that no one was supposed to see. Gear up, cause it's about to get weird. Number 10, Glowing Caves. Honey, pack your bag, we're going to New South Wales, said no one ever since people would prefer to visit the Maldives all year round. But before you dismiss New South Wales as your next tour destination, hear me out. Apparently, there's an unpopular cave that glows in the dark. It exhibits a 400 meter long blue-green show light for all those who dare to seek its magic beyond the dingy rails. And all thanks to science, we can witness the beautiful glow emitted by a colony of glowworms. The views of these caves are even more splendid during the summer as more worms flock and reproduce in the caves. Number 9. Thunderstorm Asthma We know that getting too close to certain flowers or scents can easily trigger an asthma attack if you suffer from those. But have you ever thought that a thunderstorm could cause one too? I know it sounds like a stretch, but before you dismiss it, I'd like to take you to Melbourne City in Austria, a city that has suffered a couple of times from these creepy natural phenomena. Before they had a reasoning, there were countless 911 calls during or after a thunderstorm. It wasn't until scientists looked into the matter, only then finding out that there's a specific type of thunderstorm that carries lots of pollen with the wind, leading to a massive epidemic that causes a shock in even the best emergency response centers. And this storm seems to be visiting other places too, like London. So next time you hear about a thunderstorm in your area, you better grab your inhaler too while you're at it. Number 8. Endless Pond Have you ever wondered what is usually at the bottom of your favorite wishing well? It could be a floor full of pennies, or in some cases, there could be a whole city hiding underneath all that water, like in the Zhejiang province of China. Curious farmers wondered why some ponds never dried up. This curiosity led them to purchase a hydraulic pump and drained all the water from the ponds. What they found was far from their wildest dreams. The stagnated water had for years been hiding a handcrafted cave with more rooms than a BNB. &B. The artwork on the walls and the way the cave was carved was a very distinctive. Archaeologists who flooded the site, no pun intended, searching for answers on how it was built and why it was built, have had a hard time coming up with any reasonable answer. To add on to the mystery, it's estimated that it must have taken about 1,000 men working day and night non-stop for six years. Hopefully, scientists will be able to come up with some explanation to unearth this mysterious wonder. Number 7. The World's Oldest Computer I always assumed that our generation today is the coolest. We have the best gadgets and computers, not to mention social apps that reduce factors like distance and time. However, my assumption has long been incorrect. According to this revelation by scientists, on a deep dive expedition, they discovered a strange artifact, which at first glance looked like a clock, but after further investigation, it was discovered that this artifact might be the oldest computer to ever exist. Even though it wasn't as cool as today's computers, 2,000 years ago, it served its purpose perfectly. The Greeks used the device to predict astronomical events that would influence their day-to-day -day activities. It was hand-driven, and as far as scientists can tell, it has the most complex mechanism ever seen to date for that period. So much so, that no one's been able to create a replica. Number 6. Space Seeds After a month's trip to space, these cherry seeds came back exhibiting some Jack and the Beanstalk huge voodoo. Because in just weeks after the trip, the seeds had sprouted and grown over 12 feet. It also appeared to have more buds than any other cherry in a regular garden. This leads people to attribute these obnoxious traits to the seeds' trip to space. NASA scientists have yet to figure out what exactly is present in space that causes such quick reaction. 
Number 5. Pine Nut Mouth The taste of nuts, the food for clarification, in your mouth is sensational if you don't have allergies. They're soft, they're smooth, with just the right amount of oil that lets the nuts melt in your mouth. But not every nut has the same basic taste. Take for example, pine nuts. Even though they have the same nutty richness in your mouth, they are sometimes accompanied by a bitter, almost metallic taste. This flavor is especially rich when your pine nuts have stayed in the pantry for a good amount of time. But the biggest worry is that for some people, that metallic taste sticks with them for weeks, if not days. Why does this happen? There hasn't been any real scientific explanation, despite effortless research on this phenomenon. For the most part, there's claims that this could be an allergic reaction to the nuts. Even though many scientists argue that it might not be the primary factor, since allergies don't usually just have one reaction. But for now, we can only go by that lead. Number 4. The Strangest Book in the World What would you consider to be the strangest book you've ever come across in your life? And would it beat this manuscript? A 240-page book filled with illustrations of plants and floating heads. There's also bits and pieces of zodiac signs and creatures that can only be from imagination, like dragons and mythical castles, leading many to rumor that the Voynich manuscript is associated with black magic. Even though different scientists and language specialists have tried to decipher the book, nothing meaningful has come from it. They claim it's incomprehensible, having been written in a language that's not from any known language in history. There's also numbers used in correspondence with the text that doesn't make any sense at all. It makes you think that whatever this book entails wasn't meant to be seen or understood by anyone else apart from those that it was intended for. Number 3. Viking Swords What started as a routine exercise down at the River Shannon ended up as a discovery of one of the most significant artifacts to be discovered by man. The Viking swords were a symbol of prestige and status back in the early centuries. Swords were historically prevalent in Western countries and parts of Europe. The crew that discovered the Viking sword and another ancient artifact were as surprised as we were and didn't expect to find such crazy things. By the looks of it, I don't think the owner of those two pieces wanted them found. Number 2. The Screaming Mummies a group of scientists stumbled upon the most bizarre mummies ever found while they toured Guana. A group of scientists stumbled upon the most bizarre mummies ever found while they toured Guanajuato, Mexico. Even though there wasn't anything genetically unusual with the mummies, the way they looked was extremely unsettling. Their mouths were wide agape, as if their last movements in this world were spent screaming for help. Determined to find out how they lost their lives, scientists started investigating a few of the mummies. They discovered that they most likely got infected with cholera, which may have led to their demise. The biggest question lingering is why are these mummies screaming in their last moments? Someone's yet to figure that out. Number 1. The Pregnant Rock Wall If you ever fancy seeing a rock cliff full of big zits, then you should visit the Guzhou Rock Cliff in China. Though these aren't your typical zits, they're so huge that some consider the cliff as an egg-laying cliff. That's why a group of scientists were called upon to try and unravel this mystery. They noticed that these eggs latch onto the edge of the cliff for some time as if they're incubating, only to eventually detach themselves and fall to the ground as new ones form on the cliff and the process continues. Talk about bizarre stunts from Mother Nature. Now I want to go there to answer the one question I have. What the heck hatches from these eggs? See you all next time.